We just learned that one hour ago, suicide bombers attacked an American housing compound in Saudi Arabia. The killers wore Saudi police uniforms. Number so far, 100 plus killed, 200 plus injured. The FBI would like an evidence response team in Saudi Arabia now. Your Excellency, Special Agent Fleury of the Federal Bureau of Investigation and his colleagues. This is not America. Your safety is my primary concern. Your team cannot work at night. You're not safe. Oh, we're safe during the day, huh? I know you want them caught. We want them caught. Allow us to help your men catch this criminal. I have two daughters and a son. A man who can plan mass murder. Scares me more than anything. Everyone all right? There's more of them! They have taken your man hostage. You gotta move! We shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be here. Do you have any idea how much trouble you are in? Trade ten of their own for one of you. Everyone knows that you guys are here. We're back! We're back! In the howling wind, comes a stinging rain. See you tonight. Taking you out of here. We're gonna find him. The end comes no matter what. The only thing that matters is how do you want to go out? When we catch the man who murdered these people and kidnapped your friend, I don't care to ask even one question. Do you understand? Yes, I do. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Today, let's do Benjamin Franklin. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Okay, listen to your teachers. Love you. Love you. It's a good life. <laughs> it's a good life. It's a good life. When Anna got sick, I just couldn't understand it. Why was this loving little girl going through this? I think your daughter is lactose intolerant. Acid reflux. Everything looks okay. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. There's something wrong with our little girl. Mrs. B, you need to calm down. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Unfortunately, the tests confirm that she's very ill. There is currently no cure for Anna's condition. Doctor, please, this is our little girl. I'm scared, Mom. Me too. We're not giving up. Like a small boat on the ocean. We need a solution. We need it now. And we'll get it. How? By not losing our faith. Like how a single one. How long have you been married? 14 years. Free her from this. Might only have one back. Can you even hear me? I can make an explosion. You're telling me that when this baby girl fell 30 feet, she hit her head just right, and it didn't kill her, and it didn't paralyze her. It healed her. Yes. Well, that's impossible. This is a little hard to believe. And there's a lot of people out there that are just looking for publicity. A lot of people think we're crazy. You either roll with it or you get rolled on. Who told you you'd be fine? What's the prognosis, Fertile Myrtle? Minus or plus? There it is. Little pink plus sign is so unholy. That ain't no edge sketch. This is one doodle that can't be undid, Holmes Gillett. Just tell him. I'm pregnant. Who is the father? It's Polly Bleeker. Polly Bleeker? I didn't think he had it in him. 
I know, right? <laughs> Did you see that coming? Yeah, but I was hoping she was expelled her into hard drugs. Or a DWI. Anything but this. I could, like, have this baby and, and give it to someone that, like, totally needs it. You should look at the penny saver. They have ads for parents. Yeah. Desperately seeking spawn. Hi. I'm Vanessa. Hi. I'm the husband. This, of course, is Juno. Like the city in Alaska. No. You're a part-time lover and a full-time friend. The when this is all over, we can, we can always get back together. Oh, were we together? Yeah, we were we had once, you know? At time. You think you're really going to do this thing? If I could just have the thing and, and give it to you now, I totally would. But I'm guessing it looks probably like a sea monkey right now. Oh, we should let it get a little cuter, yes. right? Great. Keep it in the oven. Fox Searchlight Pictures presents a comedy about life. Well, I thought you were the kind of girl who knew when to say when. I don't really know what kind of girl I am. And the bumps along the way. Your little girlfriend gave me the stink eye in art class yesterday. Katrina's not my girlfriend, right? And I doubt that she gave you the stink eye. That's just the way her face looks, you know? That's just her face. I don't know if I'm even ready to be a father. Yeah, you know a big puffy version of Junebug? Where you been? Just out dealing with things way beyond my maturity level. to know that it's possible that two people can stay happy together forever. The best thing you can do is find a person who loves you for exactly what you are. You know. Your parents are probably wondering where you are. Nah. I mean, I'm already pregnant, so what other kind of shenanigans can I get into? <laughs>sweater and he's drunk well he didn't drive drunk and he's home before curfew so that's what i thought we thought right? yeah we're good parents yeah, we're good. Right? Fake young when we good morning creekwood Hark. my name's simon for the most part my life is totally normal i have a family that i actually like and there's my friends we do everything friends do we drink way too much diced coffee we walk gorging on carbs so i'm just like you except i have one huge ass secret hey I like your, your boots. I said I like your, your boots. Goodbye. Nobody knows I'm gay. <sighs> Have you seen the new post? About the closeted gay kid at school. What? Who do you think it is? Can I call you back? <sighs> Dear Blue, I'm just like you. <sighs> this was a mistake. Nice to know there's another guy at school with the same secret. When did you first realize? It was a bunch of little things, like my first girlfriend. I think I'm falling in love with you. Wow, thank you. Be right back. Wasn't my proudest moment. Sometimes I think I'm destined to care so much about one person it nearly kills me. Me too. I'm done living in a world where I don't get to be who I am. I deserve a great love story. And I want someone to share it with. Have you ever been in love? I think so. These last few years, it's almost like I can feel you holding your breath. I'm supposed to be the one that decides when and where and who knows. That's supposed to be my thing. Disclaimer. This is about to get romantic as F. You're not into Abby, are you? She's cute, but yeah. she's just not really my type. Mm. Not because she's black. I love black women. Not like, you know, I have a thing for black women. I just, I just, I just love all women. You've tested positive for HIV. Have you ever used intravenous drugs? Have you ever engaged in homosexual conduct? Homo, homo. Did you say homo? You made a mistake. Mm -hmm. That ain't me. Mr. Woodruff, we estimate you have 30 days left. A new flash, y'all. Ain't nothing out there can kill Ron Woodruff in 30 days. The drugs, they just released for testing, and I know this hospital's one of the signs. I need it. It doesn't work that way, Mr. Woodruff. Where are you going? 
They got good meds out of Mexico. It's better than what you can get here in the States. This is protein, totally non-toxic. And you can't buy this in the USA? Not approved. You could be making a fortune off of this. You look great. Well, actually, I look amazing. Anything to declare? Nada. They're importing illegal drugs for sale. It's a very serious offense. They're not illegal. They're merely unapproved. I've been looking for you, Lone Star. Listen, Tinkerbell, unless you got more cash or new clients, I'm busy. You don't deserve our money. Cut you in. 5%. 25. Take it or leave it. Welcome to the Dallas Buyers Club. Are you treating these people? Oh, they're treating themselves. Well, I ain't selling drugs. I'm selling membership. Walker, Dorset, these are patients? Yes, sir. They're also the names of players on the Dallas Cowboys. That's a hell of a coincidence. What the hell is it? I have a court order permitting us to confiscate any and all non-FDA-approved supplements. We need a new supply. Check Amsterdam, China, and Israel. We can do business with you. Why are we here? Nice restaurant, beautiful woman. That's where I feel like a human again. Mr. Woodruff, what is going on? People are dying. You're nothing more than a common drug dealer. PJ Strayon. Freaky Como. Oh. Life. You ain't alone. Wanted to mean something. Just let me be.